What's going on guys? This is Andy Uguni here doing my gear review on the jeans or pants that I've purchased. Um kill me so uh, King Squid. Um, 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 um get that out of the way. You know who you are. So these are the jeans that I went with on my journey as being a beginner rider. I had purchased, I'll go and say it, uh, I had purchased a pair of Icon Victory jeans. I upgraded to these because the Victories, really all they are was a denim Kodora. That was the only amount of safety they offered other than they were really thick denim. Something's better than nothing. I mean, they were they were stronger than your standard pair of jeans. But this review is not about those jeans. This review is about the best gear I could find for being a beginner. And so this is what I bought. Sorry, <laughs> my kid stuck his head out of his room. I guess Minecraft is boring. Um, I bought the Scorpion, Scorpion Coverts. There's three sets of these jeans. There's the Coverts, the Covert Pros, and the Covert Ultras. I went with the standard Coverts, and I'll show you why. They were $120 on Revzilla. Um, like I said, something's better than nothing. These offered Kevlar, as you can see right there. Um, they are just standard denim. The, my understanding, the Kevlar offers protection. I needed something. I needed something on the fly, so I went with these. Um, I ordered a size 38 because at the time, they were out of the size that I wear. I wear a size 36. They're a little loose, but they are a little tight in the, the leg area within themselves. So I say tight, tight, not like skinny jeans, but tight for your standard jean. I guess they're standard cut. I don't really know. The jeans, like I said, they're denim on the outside. I, I got them in black just so they would, okay, it says right here, 100% cotton. Um, on the inside lining, 100% DuPont Kevlar, which it has the name right there. So, boom, DuPont Kevlar. And um, a 100% poly polyester mesh inner shell. So, that's, that's what that came with. I do not have, let's see here. I do not see any sort of rating, but... I can tell you what, what it comes with. Um, it has a zipper for the fly. It has this button. It's not a pop button or anything like that. It fits through one of the little things like that. Uh, gets done. <laughs> the uh, button can be a pain in the butt. Pockets enough to fit my hand in a really big change pocket in the jeans themselves I'll go inside out so you have Kevlar and as you can see it comes with a knee shell protection right there um, it also has a hip area protection right here. So these do not come with any form of armor. So for $120, you do not get the armor that I'm about to show you. And I'm going to make some suggestions on the armor. If you do decide to purchase it without the armor, $120. I purchased armor because like I said, 
needed something on the fly, but also wanted to be safe. That's the gene right there. Now for the armor. Um, I'm going to show you D3O because it's the same shape. And I really do not want to take my armor out of my knee pads. Um, but what I have is Saztec armor. It's CE level 2. That's what I got on the knee pads. Um, knee pads are the same shape as your elbow pads. So if you have an old jacket with pads that you no longer use or anything like that, you can substitute it for your elbow pads. The the those thing the the level of armor on that, like I said, is CE level two, and it is tough. It 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 doesn't. There's no bend to it. It's just a boom knee slider. I purchased that. Those were. Oh man, I should have looked up the price on that. I want to say they were thirty five dollars for the CE level two. But you can also get this if you're just looking for some protection. I purchased these right here. This is the Saztec CE Level 1. Um, it's kind of like the D3O Ghost Armor. It's flexible. It has that, that kind of deal. You know, it fits in your hips and your knees. Two of these, 20 bucks. Don't really know any... I can't vouch for any of the armor. I mean, technically, I guess for that matter, I can't vouch for the pants because I'm not taking a spill yet. But comfort-wise, they fit. The, the pants fit perfectly. Um, I've walked around people and they didn't even know I had motorcycle jeans on with armor because they look just flat out like a pair of jeans. You could wear them anywhere. The reason why I'm not taking my armor out to show you is like I said, it's the same shape as these pretty much. It is not D3O what I purchased. I purchased the Saztec CE level two, but the knee pad protection area is spaced out it's spaced out from like the top of the hip down um that's for taller short people so wherever you're at you find out where you need your knee pad when you're just walking around it's going to be in a different area you want to if you get any sort of knee pad you want to sit on your bike and find out the best place to put it because it's going to change when you're walking around it, that that's just I mean you think about it you're walking around and when you get on your bike your legs curl and like that so they offer this same I mean you can hear it listen to that there is no flexibility in that thing so I mean if I go down it's 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 heavy but I did that for a reason um they also have a have a they also bleh, have a Saztec that's like this that's a ce level one um if you need something on the fly you know but i have this and i have it that's why i'm not taking out it's right where my knees are when i sit on my bike uh if you can find it they have it on revzilla i want to say like these were 30 30 or 35 dollars the ghost armor that I showed you, or not ghost armor, sorry. This right here was $20 for two. And these were $30 or $35. They offer it for $40, $45, or $50 with Velcro. And that is what keeps it in place. So I'm going to have to give you a little talk on the, the Velcro. What I did, because... All my gear is about saving as much money as possible. I purchased the Saztec CE Level 2 knee armor. And instead of getting the one with Velcro, I went to my local store. And I bought, uh, I'm not going to say the name. We could just call it Wally World. Uh, I went to the craft section and I bought Velcro pieces about like, like that size. I bought like three or four of them. You know, it was four packs, so it was probably... Uh, actually, I bought two packs, so I got four pieces all together. 
on the Saztec. I, 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 I hate to keep name dropping Saztec CE level 2, but it's because I'm showing you on D3O armor and I don't want you to get confused. Um, on the Saztec itself, it, uh, I took the Velcro, and this is something you're going to want to do. Uh, I took the Velcro, and it was not very sticky. And to the surface of it, I mean, I, I stuck it on there and it slipped off. So what I ended up doing was um, going and getting a little tube of uh, Gorilla Glue and hitting, you know, like just putting a big old piece of, you know, like a big old covering the surface, let's put it that way, on the knee pad. And where I put it is in particular as well, um, I covered the top area and then also the bottom area. Now that I think about it, I ended up buying three. So I got six pieces of Velcro. So I covered the bottom area, the top area, and directly in the middle. The, the pieces were strips, like I said, about like that. So um, right here, I went that away. Down this thing, I went straight down. And then down on the bottom, again, I went side to side. The reason for that is you need Velcro to keep that in place. If you read any review on the coverts, the main complaint people have is either about the Kevlar being too hot. I mean, you take your good for your bad as Kevlar. I mean, that's what the police use in bulletproof jackets or vests or whatever. Um, but the Velcro that I put on there is still there. I don't want to take it out because I'm scared that my, you know, have to do that again uh, but it keeps it in place the the mesh area for your knees is made to have velcro on the on the pad itself um they do offer it like i said on revzilla i'll try and remember to put a link for all three pads and the jeans himself the colors that they came in I know for a fact see I got them in black and it's a dark black but I got it in this material because the job that I do I need black pants that's requirement for our uniform if I ever want to ride my bike to work boom I got black pants like I said nobody sees the armor and nobody can do the I mean, they look just like regular pair of pants when you're wearing them. That's that's mainly the main reason why I got them, other than the Kevlar and the fact that I could put pads on. Uh, nobody sees the armor. If you get the armor with the Velcro, you don't have to be stubborn like me. You can take them out anywhere because the Velcro's on it. I uh, Gorilla glued it. It's stuck on my pad within itself, and like I said, I'm scared to take it out, so it's in place, and it's staying there. I'm going to walk around all day long with that in there. Not a lot of people do. I really, really hope this helps. Um, the goal in all these gear reviews that I'm doing is not really... It's to, to piece to another video that I'm going to make on how beginners can find really reasonable deals on gear because for a beginner rider, it's all overwhelming. If you're just now finding this, I'm going to put a link to that video and try and explain what I did to save money without compromising safety. And that's the final goal is safety if uh i mean at the end of the day something's better than nothing i guess i'm not a rocket surgeon something is better than nothing but if you can get the good stuff or as good as you can all right well like i said in the rest of the videos uh you can find these videos on my page andy Vigoni on youtube um, I have an Instagram, which is, I don't even know why I'm plugging that, to be honest with you, it's just pictures of food and cars and motorcycles I see, or my bike, just in random places. 
But if you're interested in the journey of a new rider, like and subscribe to my channel. Um, that's basically where I'm going with it because I am a new rider. You're going to see my downfalls or my positives. That's what you're going to see. I'm going to end up in cool places. You know, like I live in North Georgia. Where we have mountains and all great places to ride. I have plenty of friends to ride with and sometimes you'll see me ride by myself. But this right here is a review on the pants. It's not a review on my channel. You can find my channel easily because you found this. <laughs> anyway, if you're a new rider and you want to, uh, you know, see the journey of a new rider, then like and subscribe and we'll see what we can do. All right. Keep them on two wheels. Be safe. You got anything to say, Jude? Yeah, um, be safe on the internet too. Yeah. You never know who's out there. That's right. Be safe on the internet too because you never know who's out there. It You're... could be a 60 year old man acting like a girl. That's right. <laughs> oh, God. I love my kid. But yeah, keep him on two wheels and be safe. And, uh, peace out.